Hey, how's it going? Today I want to talk to you guys about BMSs, battery management systems. And I want to show you a few of them here and talk a little bit about the features uh, that each one has. Okay, there are many, many types of BMSs. They start from like the little ones like this. This one's rated at 25 amps. Uh, then bigger ones, uh, somehow this is also rated at 25 amps. And then you start getting into the bigger ones, right? This is 100 amps, but then you get into the really big ones, right? This one right here, it's uh, rated at 200. And they go all the way to like 300, 400, 500 ratings on these, right? And these are what they're called kind of dumb BMSs. They're just, they have some circuitry in there to be able to balance batteries, but they don't give you any feedback. It's just they do their thing and you don't know what they're doing. You just know that the battery works or it doesn't. And then when it doesn't, then you have to go figure out what it is, right? And they make them really big. This one here has a fan and the ones that start getting bigger, you know, this one, it just dissipates heat by a big heat sink, right? So you can get about the same output uh, in this form factor, smaller form factor, if you were able to put uh, like a force fan air through it and stuff, right? So the only problem is that this is 100% silent. This one will make noise. So if that makes difference, then uh, you will choose according, right? So these are the dumb ones, right? Uh, simple BMSs, they balance using resistors. I mean, I'm gonna go more into detail with that. Then you get the smart BMSs. So these BMSs are things that have a user interface, right? And so this is uh, one that I'm going to try here. Pretty soon is gonna go into the market and I'm very excited about this because this by far is the easiest one to set up. This one, when you turn it on, it's got a screen here that gives you all kinds of instructions on how to wire it, how to run your batteries, how to set it up. You have all these buttons here, and it's got essentially a like, tiny little computer with the wizard showing you exactly how to wire it, how to do it, how to set it up, right? And so this is pretty good. And this is a solar battery management system. So it also has some features in there to, to be able to manage your solar panels, right? So it's kind of two products into one it's a bms but it's also a solar charge controller right and so it's pretty exciting to see something like this that's smart uh and i can't wait to share a video build and go into depth into uh you know in, on this product right here here's another one this one i also want to try i'm kind of excited this one also has a little screen and so you're able to program this guy and to be able to do a bunch of things, right? So it's the same thing. It's got MOSFETs in here. I think this will do 120 amps and it'll do anything all the way from 3S to all the way to uh, 16S, I think, right? And I'm gonna use it exactly on that, on a 16S pack. I promised you guys that I, will, I was gonna make a, a video, you know, showing you the, the BMS, uh, options that you have with these lithium iron phosphate right including that you know those modules that you can make power walls. so this is going to be among those uh that will be able to that i'll be able to show you right but today i want to talk to you about these guys the bmss i took several of these and i have put them into modules and the reason why i did that is so that they can work with my little battery building system right these are a set of pcbs printed circuit boards that then have battery holders and they allow you to quickly and easily build batteries by you simply uh, populating these boards with with cells right and so you can make small battery packs sort of like this one here that is got uh uh, I don't know, this is under 20 cells, but you can also make giant battery systems sort of like this one here that has 2000 cells, right? This is a 20 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's made the same way with this, right? And so these BMSs here, I designed them so that they can go and they're compatible with that system. You can clearly see that each one of those, it's a BMS. And so this one right here has a 1C output. There's enough BMSs in there uh, to be able to handle 1C, which is 20 kilowatt, which is pretty crazy, right? 
Um, and all of that is being done by one of the smallest BMS that I have here, right? The 25 amp uh, 7S one, right? And so I wanna show you how that works. Uh, I also have a version that has a bigger one, 60 amp BMS, and it's a single one. And at this one, it's a higher quality uh, unit because it's one that has an actual brand where these guys are unbranded. And what happens with unbranded Chinese electronics is that, well, sometimes you don't know what you're getting because since you they don't put their brand in there, you don't, you don't know who's making them. You don't know the factory. They can change the parts on you. They can change the quality of stuff. So you're kind of taking a chance, right? But in all the BMSs that I made here, we've made hundreds and hundreds of these and they're out there operating and we haven't had a single incidence of failure with these. Um, and so these are performing really well. And I wanna show you one of them working right now. Okay, first let's look at the actual BMS. This is a brand new unit. It now has a thermistor. This is a temperature sensor that you can put on your batteries here. And so it could actually monitor your battery temperature. And if the cells go too high, then what it can do is could turn itself off and uh, will disconnect your battery so that it doesn't run into the risk of uh, having you know problems, right? Because batteries don't like to, to work on hot when they're hot. So basically you're stressing them out. So let's take this apart, right? This is just a little heat sink. There we go. There are 10 of these MOSFETs in there. And if you, Searching on the number of those MOSFETs, the 75N04, you come up with the fact that these are 40 volt, 75 amp, TO252, right? That's the format, that's the form factor. And so it's got 10 of these 40 volt, 75 amp MOSFETs. And it's weird that they're so uh, overbuilt, right? Uh, for this 25, amp BMS and maybe that's the reason why this has been so robust and we haven't had any problems with them even though these are really cheap BMS's you know uh, price point they're really low especially because we're buying in, in very large quantities of them right to build uh, hundreds of these uh, modules that we're building uh, this one also has uh, the balancing circuit right here right and then these are a set of resistors that it then turns on and off and then it starts balancing the different cells right uh groups if they're if they're in balance right so let's look at this uh, in action right i got a pack all right here is an example of a bms that is working right this battery pack right here it is highly imbalanced Group number one is at four, uh, almost 4.2, right? Which is the top. And uh, groups four, five, and seven are at 3.8, just slightly less than nominal. So these are highly, highly uh, in balance, right? So I have a charger here. This charger is putting about 300 uh, milliwatts or milliamps and to the battery, let's let's raise that up to like one amp, all right? So what's gonna happen right now is that this group number one is gonna reach the top, at which point these BMSs, all three of these BMSs should recognize that voltage and should disconnect, turn off their MOSFETs so that uh, that cell group number one does not overcharge and here we go right so it's charging uh, let's race up here eventually this is going to go down to zero once those uh, MOSFETs disconnect but let's do let's do all the way to two there we go two amps let's see how that group oh yeah that group number two I mean number one is slightly overcharging right now, right? Let's see how long before these uh, BMSs step in, 
we want to catch them we want to catch them in the act and this is a good idea to do this oh there we go it just happened see that went down to zero and this voltage went all the way to 29 which is the full voltage that it requires at this point uh everything has gone down right to 4.186 so all of these at the same time or i don't know exactly at the same time but these are all identical bms's connected in, in parallel these are uh you know obviously operating uh similar parameters right and so they're at some point uh all turned off at the same time and therefore now this is not charging and what should be happening right now is that these, all three of these, should be discharging group number one so that it's closer to all the other ones. And then once that happened, then it should be able to start charging. Now, I don't, I think these are dumb. I think this will not work where it will automatically just reconnect this in here. So what you will have to do is connect these disconnect these right uh i left this sitting here for a while and then i tried doing several things like connecting disconnecting the main power and then connecting it back on and that didn't seem to work the only way i was able to get them to work is by actually disconnecting the balance leads from the BMSs and then once you do that okay let's see I'm about to connect it right here again boom there we go now it's back again we're charging right but the same thing is gonna happen now it's overcharging because that cell is uh, high so there you go BMS is doing their thing at work and you'll visually are able to see it here by you know using a a few little of these tools um, that can visually show you, right? There we go. It just clicked right in. Now these turn back off. So there we go. All right, here we go it is the next day. And we're going to check on this battery to see if the BMS has indeed balanced this battery pack and uh, the, the charge, it turned on and then the charger charges it, right? Whoa, look at that pretty balanced it's still doing something this is still balancing quite a little bit it's trying to get that 1.4.17 down to 4.12 which is what all the other ones are at so i probably figure that that's going to happen later on today so this system works um eventually this and that got the cell group number one down enough to turn on the charger so they turned the mosfets here then started charging then they all went up again the number one overcharged then these turned off and then the whole cycle repeated again and so here we go it took a few hours you know 24 hours but here we are this is a pretty balanced cell within uh, 19 millivolts, right? You could disconnect this and then use this battery this way. But if you wait until the end of the day, I bet you it'll be like pretty perfect. There we go, it just started uh, discharging one more. I don't know why I did that, but either way, this is a good ending to this story here. This BMS is work, and this is essentially what we're sending out today. That's why you need one of these in your battery packs. All right, so I hope this helps you see how BMSs work, right? And the function that they have and how to use them uh, in your projects, right? So in how our products are using them and you can see them in action here in this video. And so I will make more videos on BMSs in the future and specific how to use certain types of them with certain batteries, battery packs that we have access to, right? So that way you guys can uh, build better safer systems battery systems right for your diy needs so thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys on the next one bye all right so i'm currently downloading the uh the piece of software oh awesome uh, i guess it's a new way of doing it they're changing it and here we go 
Just put in the batteries. I almost put the lug on before putting it through there. Remember, oh, remember it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, to make it easy, you could take this thing off. If you can spin this, uh, that's too hard. Where's the, oh yeah. No, I think it's cool. I think we can just. You already touched it in there just to make sure? Yeah. And nothing? Okay. Yeah, no good. sparks. No sparks. That's good. No sparks is good.